Do you guys like Black Panther and Marvel figures? Well, we got them. Let's take a gander. First one up is a my own creation, and what I did is I took the traditional Lego Black Panther figure, I put a cape on him, as you can see he has the yellow eyes, and this is kind of a cross between the movie version and the comic book version. The comic book version has that collared cape, or the collared uh, part to the cape, and you can see the back is the traditional Lego. Chrome plated vision. This character is pretty cool. This is, this whole character is actually chrome plated and the problem with chrome plating a Lego piece and customizing it is that the joints are extremely tough. It's a very, very tight fit. So you could really barely move his arms. And another down part to it is you can kind of see some of the paint chipping there, but the overall print and the overall detail in here is really, really great. It's hard to see him, like see all the detail in his face without getting a hard glare or a hard reflection from something else, but there's a lot of small fine detail that's really hard to see up close, honestly, but they have a whole bunch of torso print right here, leg print, they even have shoe print down there, and you can kind of see it's like just like this digital lines that just kind of go off into nothing. It looks really, really good. I do like that. I don't think, oh yeah, there's a little back print too. It looks really good. Captain America. So this Captain America looks okay. I do like the fact that the head doesn't have the helmet on it and it's just printed all within one headpiece. However, I'm going to increase his stats. There we go. Chrome plated shield. Take a look at that. Way better. I love that chrome plated shield. Uh, overall decent printing on the torso here. You can tell it's kind of like a World War II theme or World War I. One, I can't remember. What, no, World War II, yeah. But uh, he's got the goggles on there, the A-frame. He's got a little bit of back printing, but no side printing on this one. Falcon. Ah! This is a really bad representation of Falcon in Lego form. This is a knockoff, and you can totally tell it's a knockoff. Really cheap looking feel, and just the look. It's very, very translucent. It looks more pink than red. So I don't like the wingspan here, and just the overall look to it looks pretty cheap, and it feels cheap. The helmet is okay. I do like the helmet, and the main reason for the helmet is I, I think I'm going to use this helmet to do a different custom figure. But other than that, and I don't even think that uh, a little bit of printing on the back, but not much. Really disappointed with this one. The Big Baddie Thanos. Thanos is looking pretty tough. He's got great articulation, just like any big fig on the arms, on the hands. You can see the arms move back, move back and forth. And actually the connection pieces on these are pretty good uh, from what I've noticed. And the overall print is pretty decent. I do like the helmet that attaches to the head. There's a pretty good connection on the head piece. But uh, he's got that really good look there. He doesn't look as close to the movie as what I would like. But it does represent Lego very nicely in Thanos, Thanos form. A little bit lighter than I would expect too. Another Black Panther. This Black Panther minifigure looks good overall. The main thing that I like is the helmet piece. The customized helmet really stands out. The one thing that I wish they would have done, you can actually see a little bit of detail printing throughout the whole thing. One thing I wish they would have done is had the eyes shown through and it doesn't quite match up so it looks a little bit off. But uh, the overall figure is decent. The one thing I don't know is why does he carry a gun? Because I don't know Black Panther's whole story but I know he has those sweet nails and the basically this this suit of armor. I don't. I've never seen him use a gun. I don't know him too well, but uh, I don't think that he should. Time for a few shoutouts: Xander Murrell, Divine Grunt Zero, Doodlecraft, Caden Murphy, and Lego Stud. Here's a huge thumbs up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching Toy Gander. And now, guys, it's that time of the video. There's one figure somewhere on the screen that is just not quite right. The first subscriber who finds out which figure that is and puts it in the comments below, I will give you a shout out in the next video I do. Guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, you can help us take a gander. Bro.